That's why I always get a little, a little uh, thought runs through my mind when people talk about, ooh, I just want to get married. Ooh, I just want, ooh, I just, ooh-wee. I just really want, ooh, Lord, I want what they got. Oh, I just really want, ooh, if I could just have what they got. Ooh, see how he do her and he carrying his kids? I want that. I always get a little, I always get a little, a little lump comes up in my throat a little bit. Sometimes me and my wife look at each other a little bit and we just look grin like, yeah, they don't know nothing yet. <laughs> because they haven't figured out that God caused us, he put a need in man and woman to come together. The need really was sex, but it wasn't just sex, it was affection and love. And so he put that, we have to get that from one another. But it becomes legal in a marriage. But, he, but part of the reason for us to come together was it was going to, he needed this other person to get as close as possible to us. And then act like the devil. <laughs> so we can learn how to love our enemy. <laughs> See, you ain't going to crucify yourself. But your spouse will nail you to the cross. Hallelujah. Y'all married folks should have said amen on that. You ain't going to nail you, but boy, they'll be, they'll be nailing. Say amen. So before you want to get married, recognize. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. But don't you ever think ain't going to be no suffering. You ain't going to be good enough. They ain't going to be good enough. They ain't going to be ready. You can do all the books, the teaching, the learning. It's going to come down to, it's going to come down to, you, listen, marriage is really a, one of the ways you enter into pain management. Because you can't go nowhere. You have to learn how to deal with this person. You got to learn how to love this You got to learn how to deal with their nastiness and this. Hold your peace. You got to learn. And then when you try to go to God and pray, he's convicting you. Go back and love them. Say you wrong. That's why you single folks, the Bible says you really got it good. You just don't realize it because you can please the Lord. The Bible says single folks please the Lord. Married folks have to please their spouse. Study your Bible. See. Don't rush into nothing until you're really ready to, 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 until you're really ready to know the other side of Christ. What a word that was. Don't rush into this till you want to. See, a wife in submission can tell you way more than. She say, baby, I'll shut up, girl. Shut up. You don't know what it is to have to bite your. You don't know nothing. Talking about all you see, see, talking about all you needed love. See if you just love. Shut up. The whole point is, God got you with somebody that's going on, shopping, on, teaching you how to love them. Oh, I'm talking about myself. I'm, I know what that feel like. Make a real man out of you when you don't. You can't run. You may want to run, but you can't run. Be wanting to go, but to do, if you're real, if you're now if you're a real Christian, the minute you stop raging and ranting, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit says, "So, oh, so you're gonna be tough now, right? Oh, so you 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 a man now, right? So you're gonna go against my will, huh? Go on and do it and see how doors slam in your face." Go on and do it and see the one I stand before. You stand before me in heaven. I'll judge you for leaving your family. The Holy Ghost got a way to get a hope, got a hope, get a click. Pain was fixed. <laughs> Boy, I am preaching a message, man. Woo. Woo. 